Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Wright here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with bilateral, fully blocked, dark, dry, uh, occluding earwax. Um, they mentioned that they've had this problem for around 24 years, believe it or not, and um, only recently uh, they felt they really need, need to have this removed and it was somewhat prompted by their partner who was moaning and complaining that the patient's not hearing them and um, the patient obviously contacted myself and we arranged to see them and get this uh, removed. So just commencing with their left ear and um, just using a suction probe, a zona suction probe. And I'm just trying to detach this wax from the canal wall, but it's really, really embedded. And upon uh, this initial view, I don't know how far uh, down the ear canal this is extending. So I've decided to use an ear hook because the wax is quite stubborn and I've just gone past the second bend, probably halfway into the ear canal, and I've embedded the hook into the core of the wax and slowly bring it forward. Now I can see in the distance the tail end of this wax. So I know it's extending right from the entrance all the way to the eardrum. And uh, it was a whopper, uh, to say the least. So if you stay till the end, you, you will see um, the size uh, of this plug of wax. Um, it was the entire length of the ear canal. So the average ear canal length is around, there's obviously individual differences, but between, I would say 2.5 to 2.8, even uh, to three, um, three centimeters. And we just measured in at 2.7, I believe, um, seven centimeters. So the entire length, you can see there's a residual wax crusted skin very deep in the air, just gonna remove that. And it provided the patient with instant relief of their symptoms and they were really, really happy. And you will see now we're gonna just mop up near the entrance. Healthy eardrum, the wax was attached to um, the canal wall. You may see just in the distance where I was earlier, uh, the skin there, it's been slightly traumatized and that's because that skin was enveloped around the tail end of that wax plug. And as we extracted the wax plug, it pulled away the skin and the skin came away just there to the bottom came away with the wax plug uh, and it's not going to cause any the patient any problems so um this is the right in it wasn't as bad but um this um when we measured it it was around two centimeters so it's still quite a substantial piece of wax a uh, bit more dead skin keratin here you can see a bit of skin just attached and you can tell by the colour it's been there for a while, it's oxidised, it's turned black. So the more tail end of the wax turns black. So that wax that was in the tail, it was initially on the outer third of the ear canal. And as the wax plugs formed, it gets pushed deeper into the ear where it can then oxidise. You can see it's almost black in appearance, whereas the, the more lateral wax is a bit lighter in shade. And you may see the skin that's just enveloped just where the sucker is on the left hand side of the sucker where I am now you can see like a lighter shade of um, brown that's some fresh dead skin that's wrapped itself around the wax plug that's the patient's eardrum so you can see there's a bit of a pit there in, in the mid canal portion uh, the ear canal there's, it sinks a little you quite typically get that with keratosis obturans uh, this patient hasn't got keratosis obturans may have had in the past but that's when the wax and or skin plug expands and it compresses against the bone of the ear canal and it can cause it to widen and change shape um, so it's got that appearance it could just be of course just genetics just the anatomical ear that's the way the ear canal is but i suspect with that type of ear canal the patient will get a buildup of wax and dead skin again because as the skin tries to migrate and leave the ear it'll fall into that pit and it will get trapped and it'll accumulate into a wax plug or a dead skin plug. So just trying to remove some of this dead skin. It was clarinetting a bit and I think I just stopped there because it was getting a bit noisy. We just left it. So healthy enough eardrum. So this is the wax plug from uh, the patient's left ear. So it's just uh, around 2.7. This is the right ear, so it's... Um, it's around two centimeters. I'm gonna put the two alongside each other. So you would say that's about 4.7. And then I've just got the wax plugs alongside a tip of a pencil just to give you some perspective. 
you can just see how dark and dry it is. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I hope you're all keeping well and safe. Do stay tuned. I've got loads more videos to upload in the next few days and weeks and months. And yeah, and remember, be nice and be kind to each other. Thank you. Bye.